Hi guys, welcome back to another video. You don't know it's your girl Toya. And your boy Poppy. <laughs> Today guys, we'll have a fun, fun couples discussion for you guys, okay? This week, one of our female friends reached out to us and we were talking and she's having some commitment issues with her partner. He is having the commitment issues and she wanted to know why is it that men found it so hard to commit? She wanted to know if we could talk to him and, you know, just see if we could, you know, push him a little bit and, you know, steer him in the right direction to see if, you know. Just to get some feedback, see where his head's at. Definitely. Yeah. So we did that and he gave us his reason why he felt that, you know, he's finding it so hard to really say, you know, because they've been together for like a couple of years, but they, they are not even living together, guys. So he told us his reason. Afterwards, Taya and I, we sat down and we came up with five reasons why we think men, especially and spe Jamaican yeah, men, specifically Jamaican men, yeah. find it so hard to commit. So we have the five reasons here. I'm going to give you my five in the order of least to most likely. Toya is going to do the same. So we're going to go vice versa, you know, back and forth. She gives her least, I give my least, and so on and so forth. Also, in the week, I did a poll. I did a survey of 20 of our friends and families and gave them the same five reasons and tell them to put the five reasons in order of least likely to most likely. And we're going to re reveal the results of that poll at the okay. end of the video. We haven't seen it yet, so we're going to talk about our least likely and then at the end of the, the, the video, we are going to reveal their most, le well, least likely to most, most likely. likely. Mm -hmm. In the comment section, I want you guys to leave us your least likely to most likely as well. And as always, if you haven't subscribed to Poppy Show, please do so, guys. Please mm -hmm. subscribe, like this video, and share it with someone who you think is probably going to a similar situation. And we also wanted to give a shout out before we get into the video. Most definitely, most definitely. You so want to shout out? The first shout out I want to give to Shelly Pandui. Yeah, <laughs> Shelly, big up yourself. Shelly Pandui, active Poppy Show JA supporter. You don't know, we love and respect everything that you're doing for mm -hmm. Poppy Show. We also want to give a big, big shout out to Paul Phillips. Paul, big up yourself. Big yourself Paul. Always supporting Very. Papi Show JA, leaving us, you know, crazy comments and feedback and everything. We really, really appreciate you guys. And also, Christopher. <laughs> Chris Wills, big up yourself, my brother. Thank you so much. You're very active on the channel, on the forefront and on the back end as well. You know, you really, are really help for Papi Show JA. So big up yourself, man. We want to. Always, you know, support those that support Papi Show and give you guys the recognition that you, you rightly deserve. So, Shelly, Paul, Chris, big up on yourself. So, why do most Jamaican men find it so difficult to commit? Mm. Right? So, for this one, I'm going to start with my least likely. But I think we should throw all five out first. No, we don't want to tell them. They're going to hear the five. You're going to okay. give me yours. And I'm going to give you mine. And then we're going to reveal the results of. But the viewers that are watching, though, how are they going to know the five that we gave them? They're going to hear it now. Okay. Are they going to hear it? All right. All right. So what's your least likely? So my least likely is. And this is very, very. I think this is very, very true. And. As I say, you guys can tell us if it's it's probably one of one of the most likely. But for me, this is a this is a regular occurrence. But it least likely on my list. Mm -hmm. They're either already in a relationship, or they're married to somebody. Yeah, and that's what I chose to. He's already married. Yeah, so you know. Um, so no commitment can go on. Yeah, no, you go on. If, if commitment go on, yeah. then probably I gonna break off that relationship to commit to you. But how committed how, how committed is he gonna be if him? Leave right. somebody who is but well so called committed to to come to you. Right. A lot of trust issues are gonna do so. So as I said, that's very, very, very likely to happen. We've known that to happen and we see it happen a lot. And on my list, on the list of of of, of reasons, that's number five for me. And you said that's number five for number you too? Number five for me too. Yeah. For real. So that's number five for both of us. 
right. Number four. You number go. Number four mm -hmm. um, would be he really doesn't love you like he say he does. Okay, elaborate. So, um, the reason why I said that is, you know, um, guys would say, oh, I love you or whatever, but you know how they always say action speaks louder than words. So, yes, the guy can tell you, oh, I love you and all of these things, you know, but does his action, you know, matches up to what he's saying to what he's saying. Yeah. So for me, that don't work. If you're going to tell me you love me, love to me is an action is an action. So you have to show it to me as well. OK. You know what I mean? So that's awesome. um, especially if you're seeing this person for so long, mm -hmm. like you want to tell me after five years or so, you still you claim you love me, but prove it like what are you doing for me to show me that you truly love me me you know just buying some clothes or paying a bill or two that alone doesn't tell me that you love me so like, you must be committed to your marriage and all these things yeah i mean you gotta i mean there's growth you know Definitely. there's stages there are levels to things so you can't just be at the same spot that you were five years ago you know what i mean mm -hmm. like what's the purpose of that relationship definitely all right number four for me mm -hmm. is I don't think they know what it means to commit. Mm. Yeah. Um, you know, everybody wants this commitment and marriage. And in, in, in a lot of situations, I don't think they fully understand what it takes to commit. Because I've known men who are, and I know a lot of people probably know that, are married or in serious relationship that the world would see as being committed to their partners. But they're still out there doing their things and you know do they fully understand what it takes to just wholeheartedly commit to someone a lot of these men really don't know that you know so that's number four for me i don't i don't think they they fully understand what it takes mm. to commit to someone okay all right all right so number three number three for me least likely least likely mm -hmm. um uh, they don't know what it means to commit. Okay. So that was your number four. That's mm -hmm. my number three. Okay. So What's they... your number three? My number three is... They really don't love you? Yeah. <laughs> that, that, so, that... so we, so we, your number four is my number three. Yeah. Your number three is my number four. Okay. So... And I'm going to put it on the screen so you guys will see it as it matches up with what we're saying. Yeah, my number three is they really don't love you as they say. For for men, men use the love word a lot. Men always throw out the love card and women, women love They're the, a sucker. Yeah. Sucker for nice words. Women hear love and it just yeah. rules out everything else. So every time a man plays the love card or the love word card, to a woman, the commitment can go to the wayside because... Ladies, we have got to stop falling for these sweet words. Like, for real. We need to start falling for actions and not words. Definitely. So that's my number three. I don't think they love love their the, the woman as much as they say that they do. You know what I mean? For real. So, on to number... And, and and especially if they have two, three women, like, how, can you really love that many people at the same time? Yeah, but if you tell all of them individually, nobody will know, say, you have two, three, so the, the whole of them are going to believe, you know what I mean? Mm. So, that's my number three. What's your number two? All right, my number two is, he's afraid to commit. Mm. Yeah, that's a big one. Elaborate. Um... When I say he's afraid to commit, I know there are some guys who they just don't have have it together. Mm -hmm. So they may still be struggling um, financially and they're thinking, well, you know, if I go marry you, then I become pretty much kind of like the sole provider in a sense. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you guys are living apart, you know, he can help you pay a bill here or there. But, you know, he doesn't have that 100 um, percent responsibility. Definitely. So, you know what I mean? So he's afraid to commit. Yeah, so that, that, that scares a lot of men. Yeah. Like, seriously. And you're absolutely right. I think... I think that's one of their number one, finan their finances. Financial financial yeah. responsibilities. Yeah. yeah and um, I think we're right on point with that because that's my number two as well. 
Yeah, I don't. I think I think a lot of men are afraid to commit. Um, and it go hand in hand what Rada said. They don't know what it takes. But once them fully realize that you know there's a lot of responsibilities when it comes on to commitment, mm -hmm. a lot of them back away from that. You know, um, as we all know, Jamaican men, you know, myself included, that wasn't something that maybe seventy five percent of boys in Jamaica grew up around a dad that really showed us that kind of pathway. So a lot of us really, really had to, to learn that on our own. Mm -hmm. you know, how, how we learn that and how we deliver it, it's very different because some people learn it good, mm -hmm. deliver it good as an adult. Some people learn it, however them learn it, and the deliverance of it is not always on point. So yeah, they're, 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 that's very high on my list, being afraid to come in. Another thing too is... Um you have some men, right, mm -hmm. who they feel like the more women they have, the more power or, you know, oh, me a bit, me a done. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's it's a, what do I call it? it it's, a, it's a look good feeling for them. So, them feel like, okay, if them go lock down now with one woman or whatever, it's like, my friends are now going to see me now as, you That's know, a as a man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm the, the man. Boss. I'm no longer the man. I'm like... Oh, me have to go home certain hours now. You know, me have different responsibilities now. So some men they Peer just pressure. don't want. Yeah. So some men they just don't want to give up that. Yeah. Lifestyle. That status. Yeah, that status because yeah. them feel that what them friend might right. think. Right. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Number one, no. This our this our, this our, this our, this are the, the the primary reason why we think so the man them now nah, commit to the woman them wholeheartedly. Mm -hmm. Right. Number one reason is. If the man them a get one already, yeah. why them a commit for? Why buy the cow? Yeah. If the milk is free. It's true. If the man them a already a get what it takes when them commit, what them about a commit for? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, why would I go to school if I already get an A? Right. Why would I go get a job if I already have a paycheck? You know what I mean? Things like that. So if you get the end result before you put in the work, where you about to put in the work for? Mm -hmm. It's like going to school to go get a business degree but you already are run two or three business unless there is aspects of the thing that you want to develop and learn more about it wouldn't make sense because you're already doing the thing so why you go you know what i mean try to learn the thing that you've already been doing mm -hmm. and i think that's key ladies you know what i mean sometimes you know you you you, you want someone to commit and what you do is I don't know. You attract them with what them what 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 is 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 the goal, mm -hmm. what they can get. You, you you give it to them, and them get it, and at the end of the day, them not commit, and you you wonder why. But at the end of the day, them get it over and over and over and over. So, but how long how long do you think sorry. a woman should stay in a relationship <coughs> with a man before she calls it quits if he's not, um, you know, stepping up mm -hmm. the game? Well, I mean. First, or because some women they just feel like sometimes the men you know will tell them oh next year or mm. you know them them come up with all these sweet talks and whatever and they must say all right when whenever I make me have them enough money man to buy a house or whenever me you know me say and yeah. them use all these little things so the women know still in other relationship two three four five years because some of these men you know they mm. keep coming up with excuses true, as you know me say oh when I have enough money more want to get a wedding of your dreams and all of these things. Because men do that. They play on women's emotions. Well, my thing is that if you can work with it, work with it. If you can't work with it, leave immediately. You know why? Mm -hmm. Because the longer you stay in the relationship, the more attached you will be and it's going to be harder for you to, to see this man as so not wanting what, what to come What would in. you say is long, too long? Immediately. If you can't, if, if this, if say you have, you have kids with a guy and it's worth your while to wait and see. I mean, you can do it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not telling anybody to leave the relationship. What if this guy is continuously, you know, farming a fool, just pack up your head of lies and stuff? You can't see it, ladies. Sometimes we know. Ladies, you know I, mean? I think to prevent all of this, why by the cold, whatever, whatever, I think um, going into a new relationship, like, or dating, when you're dating a man, mm. I feel like um, both parties should sit down and kind of give some expectation of what they're looking for. You mm. understand? Because a lot of partners, a lot of relationships, people jump into relationships rather without having any clue as to 
what they're hoping to expect from this relationship. So you don't want a man to talk to you about marriage and kids from the first, yes. from the get-go? Yes. Mm -hmm. Not not the first date, but the second and third date. What are your views? You, you know, you guys need to talk about these things. Like, do you want children in the mm -hmm. future? Um, do, where do you see yourself five years from now? Would you like to get married? Like, you know, cause some man them just in a no married thing, yeah, period. But that's true. So if if you have that conversation in initially, mm -hmm. then it will kind of steer you as to what path you should take. If you should continue dating this guy, you know, or stick around because he could be a potential yeah. husband later on down in life. True, true, true. Yeah, you that's, that's, a, that's a very so good point. That's a very I think good. a lot of thing is um a lot of these things are occurring because of poor communication. We're that's not communicating true. with each other. Like we're afraid to talk to each other. That's true. That's true. And we know we didn't have that problem because we we. I, I dug into him and he dug into me. Mm. What are you looking for? And I'm like, what are you looking for? Yeah. And then we come halfway. You know what I mean? Definitely. So, but it's it, it 50-50 same way because that can work and we can that can happen and it's still no work out. So, I mean, it's a good practice, but it's you not know, guarantee say it, it, it ever happen. You understand well, me? Well, in that case, no. If me say, if you said to me, say, okay, um, you know, yeah, later on down in life, you know, yes, I would love to get married. I'm going to say two years with you. I'm going to say, no move and make no talk now make on whatever i'm i'm done definitely, i'm gone definitely but people still stick around hoping say you know yeah say the mm -mm. change ever happen just a waste of time pretty so, much yeah so guys may i reveal the poll as we said we did a survey on 20 of my friends and family and we asked them the same we gave them the same five options and they put it in order of least likely to most likely and this is the result so as you can see, everybody chose, you know, if you can get it for free, why you're going to commit to it? Which is the same reason my friend gave us. When we talked to him, the man said, yo, you know, like, if it's not break, not fix it, you know what I mean? That, was, that was sad to hear. Yeah, we're already doing, yeah. you know, the husband, wife thing, what the ring I approve and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to, 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 to see what, you know, what the general consensus were. And that's really what it was. It was, um, you know, the fact of the matter is we're already doing it. So why should I commit, you know, propose and all this kind of stuff? It's like why I, fix something if it's not broken. Definitely. So <laughs> as Taria said, it, it was sad, but it is the nature of the beast. So we want you guys now, right? You hear the five, the five options, right? They're getting it already, so why commit? He really doesn't love you as he say he does. He's afraid to commit. He's afraid to commit, right? They don't know what it means to commit. And and last but not least, he's already married or with someone else. With someone else, all right? So those are the five options. Leave us in the comment section the order of least likely, which is number five, to most likely, which is number one, in your head, your opinion of what you think that is. That causes a Jamaican man to find it so hard to commit to their partners. Or if you have a different opinion as to why yeah, you think, definitely. then if, please feel free to leave us some comments. Definitely. Give us your other. Yeah. If you have an have an other. Like one of my friends, one of my friends reach out back and he say, um, maybe an option two is they committed before and got burned, so they're now afraid to. Mm -hmm. Which falls under they're afraid, afraid to commit, but mm -hmm. you know this afraid to commit meaning initially. Yeah, without He's, no bridges. Yeah, 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 definitely. This is an innocent afraid to commit. His was like, what if they got burned already, and that caused them to now be afraid to commit? So mm -hmm. that makes sense. So if you have an uh, other, put it down there as well, guys. And we know you're gonna love this video as always. Very informative. You know, watch it with your partner. And, you know, hear what they think. You know what I mean? Maybe or if they... you have a single friend out there that's struggling and definitely. just kind of want some insights. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> then please share the video out. For real, yeah. for real. So, as always, guys, you know, we love you. Know, big up on yourself. Continue to support Papi Show JA. We have some amazing things coming, guys. Some awesome stuff coming. We're trying to upload um, a little more often than um, once a week that we are uploading right now. With work and everything else, it's kind of... Kind of a little difficult, but we're doing our absolute best. You know what I mean? One thing for sure is that you'll definitely get, a, get at least an upload a week. and Especially on Sundays. <laughs> definitely. Chances are two or three. So big up on yourself, guys. Thank you so much for watching another Papi Show video. And we hope this was helpful. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> share it with somebody, guys. Please share it out to somebody. 
leave us some comments and like the video. And until next time, this is Papa Shiro J.A. We love you guys. Peace.